welcome back everyone, Cannon with Burger Motorsports. We've had B58 on B58 content coming to you guys. We can't wait to supply more. That being said, we've got yet another one. You guys might not know already, but there's a Gen 3 B58 out already. What are some of the main differences? We've got 12 injectors, completely factory. As you guys know, the B58 Gen 1 and Gen 2 are factory direct injected, no port injection. All of you guys aftermarket like to go to port injection. Now it's done for you from factory. How much fuel will it really be able to take? We have no idea. That's why we're gonna figure this out today. There's not much content or documentation yet on these Gen 3 Bay 58s. So today we're gonna start that. Let's get started. We're gonna run our 2025 BMW M340i with the Gen 3 B58, get its baseline on our all wheel drive link to DinoJet, see what numbers it makes. After we see our numbers on 91 octane, we'll go ahead and throw a JB4 performance tuner on it and see what kind of numbers we can get on 91 octane with nothing else done to the car. Once we get our 91 octane numbers from the JB4, we're gonna go ahead and throw on a fuel flex fuel kit to get an accurate ethanol reading of what's in the gas tank. Some might ask, why is the flex fuel kit so important? Cause it doesn't really alter anything with the tuning itself. Being able to know the exact ethanol percentage that's in your tank at all times will let you know what map to be in so you don't risk harming your motor or throwing the JB4 into a safety. If some of you guys are also new, safeties on the JB4 are gonna go ahead and put the car into map zero so you can review codes, see what's possibly wrong, how to address it, and then you can go ahead and clear them. Once we have the flex fuel kit on the car, we'll go ahead and start putting some E85 in it. We really don't know how much E85 this motor is gonna be able to take, but we also have the fuel pressure connector. Some of you Gen 1 and Gen 2 B58 owners don't have that on yet. It just gives us a little bit more control and allows us to run a little bit more E85 than you normally would without it. It's most likely gonna be around E30 or so. And if you guys don't know, that's 30% ethanol and 70% unleaded fuel. Don't know what the purpose of E85 is. It burns cooler and is less prone to pre-detonation. Pretty much just ensuring that your car is gonna run healthier and happier at higher horsepower. Once we run through all the maps, we'll go ahead and throw on our Burger Motorsport competition intake for the B58 Gen 3 motors. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started and see what this thing makes from factory. Alright, right now I'm rigging up our boost tap. You can get this on our website. So we don't need to drill or modify anything. We just tap this into an existing line on the manifold and we're going to put this uh, up to our mechanical boost gauge up at front so I can double check the scaling with the scent sensors since these are digital single edge nibble transmission sensors. They're not the usual analog type sensors that you get a voltage out and that will dictate your boost pressure based on the scaling, etc. So we're gonna double check that, go through everything, then we're gonna start turning it up on map one. I just finished installing our boost tap. I now have a mechanical gauge. View record that while we're data logging so we can ensure that the boost scaling and everything that we're getting on the car, on the readings, versus our mechanical gauge and everything lines up correctly before we start turning it up. Here goes a completely factory run on a 2025 F340i. wheel horsepower and 396 wheel torque on a completely factory 2025 N340i. So it turns out the Gen 3 B58 has something called the Miller combustion cycle within its tuning. This means it'll sometimes leave the valve open a little bit more while under compression. Somehow that is supposed to make it more efficient, but a byproduct to your boost readings will go nuts when it's active. We've captured runs with it disabled and with it enabled, and other than a 10 to 15 PSI difference on the boost gauge, we found power, air fuel, timing, and knock seem about the same. So the verdict is out if this actually helps or hurts anything. Let's see 
she made 386 wheel horsepower and 434 wheel torque JB4 MAP1. Damn dude, 30 wheel horsepower and nearly 40 wheel torque. Here goes JB4 MAP2 with 91 octane in the tank. Four wheel horsepower and 457 wheel torque. We just keep getting insane gains on this Gen 3 B58. Seems like this is pretty much going to be the limit for 91 octane JB4 MAP2. It's time for some ethanol. That being said, before we put any ethanol in the tank, we want to throw on a fuel flex fuel kit so we know the exact percentage of ethanol that's in our tank at all times. You want to go see the merch? It just showed up. I want a donut. Let's go look at this merch. Come on. Let's go do it. Oh, it's here? It's here. All of it's here. Oh, okay. No one already cracked that one open, so we're cheating. The new sweater. Oh, yeah. The Just Tune It. As you guys may or may not know, we have a trademark now. Sick. And then on the back, it's all wrinkled up. We've got Pines M340 and my RS3 sitting in front of Burger Motorsports. Check out the design. Make sure to head to our site if you guys want to get one today. Looks like it's too tight. No, I'm XL? good. I'm just an XL. Try this. No, no. Because I'm an XL. I'm an XL. 80 pounds less. Try it. Just I wear it. XL. I'm an XL. You want it to I'm look fit? Way too big. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is double XL. <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks fire. There you go. <laughs> Dude, this looks good. Double XL. You look like a little thug. You look like a little crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that Pime's got the flex fuel kit installed, he's gonna go ahead and bring the car up to about E30. It'll take some time for the gauge to read, currently sitting at 19% ethanol. Now that we've got E85 into the tank, let's go ahead and run JB4 MAP3 and see what kind of power it makes. Here goes JB4 MAP3 on the Gen 3 M340. Here is JB4 MAP3, 436 wheel horsepower and 517 wheel torque. That's absolutely insane. 517 wheel torque, 60 wheel torque gains from the jump from JB4 MAP2 with 91 octane to JB4 MAP3 with E30 in the tank. Here goes JB4 MAP4. Alright, so that MAP4 run made 451 wheel horsepower and 505 wheel torque. So down a little bit on torque, looks like it was on the initial tip-in that that came from, but up top we gained another 14 and a half wheel horsepower. Let's go ahead and kick it over to JB4 MAP5 with E30 still in the tank. JB4 MAP5. Alrighty, let's see what she made. Oh my gosh, 468 wheel horsepower and 512 wheel torque. We gained yet another 18 wheel horsepower and eight wheel torque. I'm absolutely astonished at how this thing just keeps on picking up power with nothing done to it other than a JB4. We're not doing any sort of custom tuning for today. We just want to show you guys what you guys can expect after installing it onto your brand new Gen 3. So that being said, everything you've seen today is exactly how it's going to be on your car if you guys purchase one at www.burgertuning.com. Throw it on your M340 and enjoy all the gains. But what we are going to do is also show you if we have any gains with our competition cold air intake for the Gen 3 B58. Time just got the intake installed. Let's go ahead and run JB4 MAP5 yet again and see if we have any gains. This is gonna be JB4 MAP5, no tuning changes, this time with the BMS Gen 3 B58 cold air intake. Alrighty, 
Let's see what she made. JB4 Map 5 with competition intake installed. We're looking at 481, wow, 481 wheel horsepower and 516 wheel torque. So we gained 13 wheel horsepower and four wheel torque just by installing our competition cold air intake. That's pretty much all we've got for dyno runs today. Let's go and go over the dyno graph real quick and show you guys how much we really made today from baseline all the way to JB4 Mat 5 E30 with the Burger Motorsports intake. We started off today, baseline 91 octane, nothing done to the car, 355 wheel horsepower, 396 wheel torque. Working all the way up to JB4 Map 5 E30 with our intake, 481 wheel horsepower, 516 wheel torque. That means our gains today total out to 126 wheel horsepower and 120 wheel torque on a completely stock, other than the intake, and JB4 2025 M340 with the B58 Gen 3 motor. We haven't shown you guys our intake sounds on the Gen 3 intake yet. Let's go ahead and have Piam run the car with the fans off and get some sweet intake sounds. We're still trying to figure out this platform to the fullest extent, but it's definitely a good step into the right direction. I really hope you guys loved this video. Let us know what other Gen 3 content you guys would like to see. Of course, we're gonna be doing a lot more development on this platform as time goes on. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, share with any of your friends. I think that's pretty much gonna end it as far as this video goes. If you haven't already, make sure to go watch last video, our 335i Junker Part 2 video. Next one, episode three, we're gonna be putting a NOS bottle on it, see how much power this N54 can really hold until it lets go, so stay tuned for that. We'll see you guys next time.